What's up guys, Ryan here. I'm a freelance video editor and here are five tools that I use to work faster, smarter and just make better videos. At the end of the video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why I am not worried about AI taking my job anytime soon. But before that, let's get into AI tool number one. So this tool is called Time Bolt and basically what it does, it removes gaps in sentences so that you can save time cutting out the little gaps. So we're gonna go select video and audio file here. Then we're gonna go to documents, YouTube and just select our sample clip. So I know this is my little sample clip. Should have probably saved it as sample clip. So first of all, let's look at my test clip. So as you can see here, I'm walking around. This is a demo clip for my newest video, uh, five expert, five incredible time-saving AI tools. So as you can see, not the best performance from me, but we've dragged and dropped it in here. And now all I do is press play. This is a demo clip for my newest video, five incredible time-saving AI tools to speed up your editing workflow. And there you go. So all your gaps are cut out. So if you're making longer form content like YouTube videos, you can just do this and export it. So you can actually go in here and you can create your own cuts as well if you want to uh, split the timeline and create your own cuts. But otherwise, it does a pretty good job straight off the bat and you can always adjust the sensitivity for how much you want to cut, how much silence you want to detect. Couple of settings here, but as you just saw, the default settings I uploaded to, you could upload a 20 minute video here, or I mean, if you're feeling really genius, you could set up a gig on Fiverr and you could basically cut people's footage for them. That's AI tool number one, that's Time Bolt, and I'm gonna leave a link to Time Bolt in the description. Now let's get into tool number two. Now, if you saw my recent video, how I make $5,000 plus per month as a video editor. So I'm gonna leave that linked here in this card above and I'll leave it linked in the description if you haven't watched the video. But basically, towards the start of the video, I cut out my background and I put scrolling screenshots behind the video. I thought it was a cool way to keep things interesting at the start, keep people watching. Now, I tried to do this in After Effects and I tried for a long time. It was just an absolute nightmare. I've got different colors behind me. So it's quite hard to get me cut out without a lot of spill. So I searched for an AI background remover for videos and I found this one. So guys, this is unscreen. It's not perfect. As you'll see from the example, there was a little bit that it missed. But first of all, let's just look at the pricing. It's not free. Eight pound for three minutes per month. But that's three minutes of rendered backgroundless footage. I used like 12 seconds. You can also do a one-off. I think I did £4.49 before as the pay-as-you-go, but at the end of the day, if it's £4.49 to make a better video, then that's great. And let me just show you how well it works. So we're gonna click Upload Clip here, and we're just gonna open up the test clip that I showed earlier. So now, as you can see, it's not perfect, but I didn't really help here by grabbing a coffee mug. It's really good for talking head videos, and you're probably going to want a close-up shot or a, a clean background but look you can change the backgrounds using the built-in backgrounds this looks funny this looks like it's one of those meme videos but now if we go back to my previous video as you can see when i did a talking head video it worked out a lot nicer here there was barely any spill but it doesn't just work immediately you have to do a little bit of editing so what i'm going to do i'm going to download the transparent bundle from my previous one just because i think it was a better example and we're going to open it up and now you can see in here you've got two files you've got alpha and color so all we need to do is we're going to open up after effects new project let's just make a new composition we're going to drag in our alpha and our color now what we're going to do is you can see it's got a, an outline which is a mat so what we're going to do is we're going to click on color we're going to make sure this little button down here is clicked and then we're going to go to track mat alpha so now it's tracking the alpha but you can see the color still so what we're going to do is we are going to click this little button by here and select Luma. And now you can see it's cut me out. So let's just put in a background. Let's go over to Pexels. Let's search beach. Where do I want to be? Be on a beach. Okay, we're just going to download. Now we can just drag that straight into After Effects. Except I can't do things properly because I am a Windows user through and through. But we'll go to After Effects. We'll open this up. Hopefully we can just drag this in. And now you can see, 
let's just imagine I'm on the beach. That would be a nice thought. I've made over $100,000 on Fiverr in the past four years, and that is AI tool number two. Quick segue here, guys. If you wanna learn how to make video ads that actually convert, or you wanna learn how to get clients on Fiverr, why not head over to my Skillshare? I've got about eight courses on there. One of my students literally followed my Fiverr course, got orders, quit a job, and I've got about 1,500 students in a group making better videos every day. So if you wanna get better at video editing or make some money on Fiverr, go check out my courses on Skillshare. Cheers. So AI tool number three, which I use every time, is Adobe Podcast Enhance. And what this does is it takes MP3 files and it cleans up the audio and makes it sound amazing. The only issue we have immediately is we have to drag an MP3 file in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Premiere Pro. Let's just make a new project. We're gonna call it test two because I've already done test one when I recorded this video and totally screwed it up and had to do it again. So now we're gonna drag our test footage in. Let's just cut before the audio. And you can see this is the audio at the moment. This is a demo clip for my newest video. Okay, then we're gonna go to File, Export Media. But we're gonna save this as Test Audio Only. Now we're gonna go Export to MP3. And we're gonna just basically export an MP3 file. So now that's exported, all we have to do is upload that MP3 to AI Enhance, enhance the MP3, go back, link them together, and then we can use it as an enhanced version. So click upload. We're gonna go and grab test audio only, open. Now you can see it's enhanced in the speech. This only usually takes a few seconds. Obviously it depends how long it is. Okay, so the audio is now enhanced, so let's play it without and then let's play it with. Here is without. This is a demo clip for my newest video. Ha and now this is with incredible time-saving AI tools to speed up your editing workflow. I'm gonna take this one step further, make it extra crispy sounding, and I'm gonna show you how to link it up in Premiere Pro. So all we're gonna do is open Premiere Pro back up, go get our download, which is this test audio enhanced drag that in and now you can see we have this this is a demo clip now what we're going to do is we're going to press shift hold both the video track and the audio right click and now we can go down to link which means if we zoom in we can cut them together like this and to finally make it sound even better we're going to go over to effects add a parametric equalizer don't worry this isn't complicated we're going to click edit select loudness maximizer and just slowly increase the highs a little bit as we play through to make it sound extra crispy five expert five incredible time saving ai tools to speed up your editing workflow and there we go that is ai tool number three AI tool number four, if you thought ChatGPT wouldn't be on a video editing video, well, you are insane because ChatGPT is pretty much amazing. One time that I have used ChatGPT before was when I wanted to make a number and I wanted the number to increase from like say one to a hundred. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a number one in here. We'll align it to the middle because aligning things to the middle is nice. Get our anchor point in the middle. Now we're gonna head over to ChatGPT. Please write an expression that I can apply to a number one in After Effects to make it increase to 10 over one second with no decimal places. So it's even said here to apply the expression to number one, select the layer that contains the number, alt click on the source text. So we're gonna click copy code here on the expression that's written. Then we're gonna go over to After Effects, drop down the number one, alt click sort source text. I am such a Windows user, I don't know what alt. Option, paste this and let's have a look. How amazing is that? And there we go. So you've got the animation straight from 
ChatGPT. And now number five, before I get into three reasons why AI isn't gonna take your job, so stop worrying and chill out, man, is Descript, and I use Descript to transcribe videos and make amazing fancy captions. So let's open up Descript. I'm gonna create a new project here, and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna drag in my faithful test clip it's automatically transcribing so we're just going to click done now i've already used this a few times so there's a good chance this already going to have the fancy captions but i'm going to show you how to adjust them anyway and of course i'll leave a link to descript in the description if you fancy checking it out as you can see it's transcribed the footage so now what we want to do is we want to select all our text right click insert and we're going to go down to captions and you can see at the bottom i've already created this style but have a look at this this works really well on social media this is a demo clip for my newest video five incredible time saving so you can see you transcribe it automatically transcribes you get the script you can also add these fancy captions so let's go down to captions and i'm just going to show you quickly so fill is the color of the words that have been filled that in the past then you've got background so you can actually turn the background off or on so you can have this background you can have a different color background for your text i like the black and i also like the fill in white what we're going to do for the animations is you click the little settings by captions and now you can see the future words is the color of the word coming up so if i change that to yellow and i change the fill back to white you can see the words that are coming up are now yellow is a demo clip for my newest video but what i tend to like to do is i go to captions and i just like having the future word the same color as the previous word and then the background of the live text you can change the color of the background that pops up on the text block. demo clip for my newest video so that is Descript. There's five incredible time-saving AI tools that I actually use as a video editor. But now let me give you three reasons why you don't need to worry about AI taking your job. Now the first reason is a lot of the terms that you hear AI, well these things aren't really AI. These aren't like machines with a mind of their own growing and learning. These are basically just software. So you've got to remember AI is a massive buzzword at the moment. Everybody's searching it. So companies are going to call things AI when they're basically just software. I mean, your phone has had predictive text for ages, but you've never been worried about that. The closest to AI or machine learning is probably chat GPT here, but cutting out spaces in a video, all that's doing is looking for things quieter than a certain range and cutting it out. It's a program, not an AI. So there's reason number one. Reason number two is because these are just tools, right? So you could have amazing tools. You could have some incredible wrench that helps you fix cars better. But if you don't know anything about fixing cars, it's still not going to do anything for you. You're still not going to be able to use it. You're still not going to fix your car. You're going to take it to a mechanic who can use the tools properly. And number three is people are inherently lazy and the people who would actually go and try and make a quick buck using AI would soon realize that when you try and cut corners, you lose out on quality. Also, the human brain just is creative and has ideas. And a lot of the time, even with all the tools I have at my disposal, I manually make what I need to make in Premiere Pro because my video doesn't start from a tool it starts from idea then maybe i can use chat gpt to help me brainstorm some ideas then i need to cut my footage so i can use a time saving tool to cut my footage but then what about the brand colors what about the message what about the tone what if you want more breathing room between spaces what if you want to fine tune things because you have the artistic ideas so us brains are so complex the ideas that we get no machine can ever replace the human mind and imagination. So guys, with that, stay creative, subscribe if you like this content. Somebody asked in my recent video, how do I set up my lighting and my set? So I'm gonna probably show you that in the next video. So obviously subscribe if you wanna see that. Check out all the tools in the links below if you like them. Let me know what AI tools you use. If you're worried about AI, has it affected your business? And otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.